Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about these on-screen buttons that you have. And explain what's going on. Right here, you have the brown backpack. That's your inventory. Tap that. You're going to have three tabs. This is the weapons tag. All your weapons will end up and under this tab. This is your armor tab. All your armor will end up in this tab. Helmet included. And you have the other tab. Anything that isn't weapons or armor ends up under this tab. So we're going to go back here to weapons. Right here you have these green numbers. On the left is the state of your weapon. Basically how much weapon you have. How much weapon health. On the right is the current maximum health that your weapon can have. I'll get into some more detail about that later. In another video maybe. Same thing goes for your armor. You go to armor tab. Number on the left is the current state of your, your weapon or armor. And on the right is the maximum, current maximum state. See like this one's 110, 110. This, this piece of armor is under full health. Now on the other tab, you have anything that isn't weapons or armor. Right here you have the quick fix robot. I covered this on one of my other videos. This lets you repair all your armor and weapon with one touch, which is convenient. This right here is a slot upgrade. You can buy these over here at the computer with VIPs. Hit use, login, special items. And right here you have all your slots. One, two, and three. You have to buy them all in order. You have to buy one, then two, then three. Slot one is 65 VIPs. Slot two is 85 VIPs. Slot three is 100 VIPs. And what slots are, are these little tabs here. You can put items here that you need to get too quick because if you're in a fight sometimes if you go into your inventory and try to pick something out it takes too long who knows what might happen it's a big pain so it's nice to have these slots back to other right here you have your prize fighter I discussed this in a, in a previous video you can check it out in the computer video. Right here you have your VIPs. Here you have your my file. My file will basically show you your about section and your stats. Level 24, strength 4, max HP. I'll go in depth about this more in another video. How many beatdowns you have. Now if you hit use you can edit your about me section. You can put in whatever you want people to see. Now all of this under your file can be seen by other players. For example, I'm going to go up to this guy right here. If I hit if I hit this green question mark all his info is going to pop out his about me and all his stats and everything so everything you put in your my file will be seen by other players if they hit the question mark next to your name pretty cool here you have my settings you hit use it'll let you choose whether you have the music off music on all sound on, all sound off. Right here you have your name tags. You get these from beatdowns. You beat people down and you will get these name tags. 
Name tags can be used for a bunch of things. You can use name tags to level up. You can use name tags to buy stats. I'll get more in depth on that in another video. Right here you have repair kits. Repair kits let you repair busted up armor and weapons. Good to have. I'll show you where to get those in another video. Right here you have your energy drink. This is used to replenish your energy. Your energy replenishes on its own. But if you want to do it a little faster, you're in the middle of a fight, you need some energy, go ahead and use an energy drink. Right here you have lags chips. You can get these from the vending machine. These restore your health. And right here you have your backpack. Backpack is essential in this game. Certain things you need a backpack in order to pick up off the ground, such as armor that people drop when they get beat down. You need a backpack to pick that up. If you don't have a backpack, you cannot pick it up. So it's good to get a backpack as soon as possible if you don't already have one. All right, right here you can see the, the cloud. It looks like a smartphone and there's a white cloud with the word alert in it. You'll get this when someone sends you a message, one of your friends sends you a message, when someone sends you a friend request, when someone sent out a clan shout out, if you're in a clan, and also if one of your friends invites you somewhere. A friend can invite you to where they are and you can take the invite and basically teleport to where your friends are which is really cool so let's check this out if nothing pops up tap the screen a few times and all your stuff will pop up this is a friend request okay let's accept that accept wait 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 would you like to enable sharing on Facebook some people do that's pretty cool I don't no all right so that's what happens when you hit this smartphone looking thing you hit the smartphone you're gonna get this screen here and this screen here you can tap right there you can type whatever you want yada 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 hit enter if you do not hit enter if you hit back you'll have to retype everything it won't stick so hit enter and you have two options right here you have the say option and then you have the yell option the say option is good if you're up close to somebody it's like a private message so you get up close to them and you only want that person to hear whoever's close to you to hear you hit say now if you want everyone to hear what you're saying if you want everybody to be able to see what you're saying tap the yell button and everybody in the room that you're in will hear what you're saying which is pretty cool okay right here you have the inbox you tap inbox and that's where you got all your private messages you have your clan shout outs you receive here you have um, your invites you receive here it's pretty cool and right here see I just got a message about these tutorial videos you tap friends right here you have a box that says friends here are all your friends and you have a few options right here you have the option to notify be notified when this friend logs in and notify messages message delete all right hit messages you have two options you can compose a message you can use this to send this person a message and you have invite to location if you tap invite to location you're sending an invite to your friend inviting them to where you are right now so if they accept your invite they'll be teleported to where you are the same room pretty cool and 
Next we have, you know, this is to move around. If you didn't figure it out by now, this right here is to move around. And you have B for block. You have A for attack. There's no fighting in here. So you can't use attack in the rest area. So let's go outside and demonstrate. This is the main hall. This is the main hall right here. Loading, 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 loading. All right. So let's see if I can attack somebody really quick. Whenever you go into a room, there's a five second buffer. You're basically invincible for five seconds. Nobody can touch you, you can't attack anybody. See right now, I'm attacking this guy because he threw a ninja star at me. He's running away for whatever reason. Maybe he's scared he's gonna get beat down or I don't know. Boom, tackle. And there is all his stuff. See the tag right there? Let's grab the loot. Alright. So you hold forward and hold down B. You hold down the directional pad and B. That'll let you run around. Boom. You hold B. That's a that's basically um, setting up for a counter move. If somebody's about to hit you, you hold B like that. If you let go at the right second, you'll do a counter attack. That's if you bought the counter attack already. I'll get more about that on another video. And then you basically have three types of attacks. The first attack is you tap A one time. Boom, that's what you get. Well, I actually bought all the strikes on, on this account, so... If you don't have all the strikes, that's not going to happen, but it doesn't matter. You still have three basic attacks. They work the same way, even though the attack may be a little different. Then you have attack number two. That's if you tap the A button twice. That gives you a different attack. That's how your attack looks like when all your strikes are maxed out. Then you have the third one. The third attack, you tap A three times. This is what you get. Boom, so you have three different attacks. Those are the main ones. And you have, um, if you buy the all your strikes and counters, actually you can get these early. You can run like this and tackle someone. See, I just got tackled. <laughs> this guy has a lower level than me. I can't attack him because he has a lower level than me. So he ended up tackling me but yeah if you run for more than a second and run up to somebody if they're your same level or higher you'll tackle them which comes in handy so that pretty much covers attacks counters everything on your screen that's pretty much it oh I forgot one more thing right here there's a little camera button you can do a screenshot from there if you tap it Taking a photo, please wait. Do you want to post on Facebook? No, thank you. It's a pretty cool little feature. All right, stay tuned. Subscribe. I'll be putting out more videos. Check out the videos I already have up. Share with your friends.